Now let's move on to another significant transition. Times became difficult for Bani Hashim, the family of the Prophet ﷺ, the economic conditions. Abu Talib, his uncle who was taking care of him, he made an offer to the Prophet. He told him, oh Muhammad, there is a very wealthy businesswoman, her name is Khadija and she seems to be a very good woman, a lot of people do business with her, I recommend that you do business with her, she seems to be a very good woman, so why don't you do business with her, let's make an agreement, you'll go on business journeys and that way you'll make a good profit as well. So one version says that Abu Talib, it was his idea, he told the Holy Prophet. Now the Prophet told him, Abu Talib, my dear uncle, I feel, you know, either embarrassed or maybe it's not so appropriate for me to go and tell her that. If she sends someone asking me to do business on her behalf and to work with her, yes. But I feel, you know, I feel it's kind of difficult for me to go and ask. Remember, this is the Prophet of God, right? He has a lot of honor, a lot of dignity. So Khadija hears about this. Someone tells her that Abu Talib has made an offer to his nephew, Muhammad. But Muhammad, he's hesitant. He's contemplating the matter. Maybe if you send him a message, he'll accept it. So she sends someone on her behalf and he offers to the Prophet that if you work with Khadija, she's willing to work with you and you can do business with her and she'll give you a good profit. She'll actually give you double what she would give others. So if someone does business with her, let's say she would give him a, uh, you know, a fixed amount of profit, she'll give you double. She had heard about the Prophet's you know, reputation, that he was the truthful one, he was honest. So she actually liked the idea that the Prophet would work with her. So there was an agreement, someone on her behalf came, met the Prophet and the Prophet agreed. His first journey took him to Syria. He had made that same journey when he was a child, when Abu Talib took him, and remember the story of uh, Bahira, that Christian monk happened in Busra. The Prophet pretty much took that same route and that same path. Now Khadija sent two servants with the Prophet to help him. She told him, I'll send two servants with you. Anything you need, they're at your service. One of those servants' names was Maysara. Maysara was a slave owned by Khadija. He went along with the Prophet. So the Prophet went on that journey. He happened to make unprecedented profit. Allah gave him so much barakah and blessings. He made a lot of profit with the wealth and the goods of Khadija that he was bartering and trading. Now on his way back, some historical accounts indicate that the Prophet stopped in Busra again, that same city. Now this time, Another Christian monk, he met the Prophet, he saw him there and when he saw the signs and he started looking at the Prophet, he told him there's something special about you. I've read in the Torah and the Injil, the Old Testament and the New Testament that there will be a final messenger who has the exact same physical descriptions that you have, the same physical features. Maysara when he saw that, he was shocked, okay, this is, there's, there's something very special about Muhammad that this monk is saying and witnessing. So they come back to Mecca, when they reach Mecca, one historical account tells us, Maysara tells the Prophet, oh Prophet, oh Muhammad, go to Khadija and tell her, tell her that you've made this much profit, tell her exactly what happened, you should report to her because you did business with her money, so he goes to her house, you know, she was in her chamber, she was a very wealthy woman, got, she's got a lot of servants, very nice, 
you know, house, upscale house, right? So he goes and he tells her about the, he gives her a brief summary of the business trip and he gives her the profit that they made. May Sarai goes afterwards and tells Khadija, he tells her, look, there's something special about this guy. First of all, that Christian monk, he said this guy has some sort of signs that will make him a prophet, a king. He said something about that. Secondly, I've never met someone more honest and respectful than him. Out of all those people who've worked for you, this guy's special. So just know that. Now Khadija already knew this man was special, but now her love for him started to develop. This man is special, he's so honest, he made so much profit. Now Khadija wanted to give him double that which she would give anyone else, but the Prophet refused. He said, no, you give me whatever you give others. So she saw that he's actually very content, very humble. You know, he doesn't have that greed for money. Who would refuse that offer, especially when he's made so much money for her? So she realized there was something special about this man. So upon getting this money, the Prophet ﷺ, he goes to Abu Talib, his uncle, and he gives him. He says, my uncle, I've made this Prophet, this money, here. You're my guardian, you're in charge of our family, so you spend it however you see fit. 